Josh, what is your last chance trade? I want to I want to uh, put the spotlight on Berkshire Hathaway B shares. We don't really talk about the stock huh. that often. Yeah. Um, it's approaching a major breakout point. I think if it gets above 225, that has been resistance. Stock has been consolidating for all of 2018 and all of 2019. Uh, and here we are back at the upper end of that range. Notably, company now has, I think, $130 billion in cash on its balance sheet. And a lot of people would look at that and say, even if there is a market event, even if there is a, a, a correction into year, whatever the case may be, Berkshire is now in the best cash position it's ever been in. This is precisely the type of financial company that could actually take advantage of, of a storm in the market. So it's an interesting stock from both perspectives. Um, so BRKB, keep an eye on that as it breaks to 225. There are no sellers. Nobody is down in the stock. I think it's pure blue sky from there. So do you see this as more of a defensive play longer term then? I mean, it's not really defensive in the in the sense of like a bond being defensive. Yeah. Like it will but I trade mean, the cash lower. Cash pile. The fact that there's they have so many different types of businesses. Correct. Like th this is the type of stock. It's got some pro cyclical um, aspects to it. They own a railroad, yeah. um, but then it's got this huge cash hoard. Um, it's got AAA credit. It's got the ability to take advantage of a market storm. And I think if you think about it from both perspectives, it makes a lot of sense to be an investor. You, you talked about the banks uh, starting to sort of peter out earlier. Can, yeah. can Berkshire still break out if the banks pull back? Because big position in the banks now. Uh, it tr it's, in, it, it's, in the, it's in the financial sector. It trades more like an insurer. I, I, so I don't mean because of correlation. I mean because they hold such big positions in JP Morgan, U.S. Bank Corp. Uh, Wells yeah. Fargo, Bank of huge America. Inv huge investments across the financial sector. I think the way to think about, I'm talking about a tactical trade, so the way I would say it is uh, you got a 76 RSI on Berkshire Hathaway, which most people would say is short-term overbought. I would disagree. I think it could be in the 70s um, on a breakout. I think it should be slightly overbought. The last time Berkshire traded with an RSI north of 70, um, you have to go back to last September, uh, so more than a year. Um, so I would stay with this one as it breaks through. I appreciate that argument that it's susceptible to the banks, but it's a conglomerate. And there are a lot of other pe moving parts uh, to the story.